Hello, my name is Manjot Singh. I'm field CTO with MariaDB. I'm really excited to talk to you about this cool feature in MaxScale. You've seen me talk about MaxScale a few times, um, but one of the features we have is called the NoSQL router. What does the NoSQL router allow you to do? Well, let's draw it. So you have, um, you might have a MariaDB uh, enterprise server, or maybe you're using SkySQL. Maybe you're using um, I don't know, a primary and some replicas in MariaDB. Um, but let's say you have an application that's maybe written for MongoDB, right? And that application, um, let's say this is your app. It's currently connecting to like a MongoDB thing. Um, you need relational data, though. Um, maybe you need to join it to another app. Um, you don't want to manage complicated ETL and data pipelines. Um, maybe you don't want to have risk or have to learn new technologies. So um, what do you do? Well, MaxScale, which you probably already have for failover and, and a, uh, HA, maybe some other cool features, uh, transaction replay. Maybe you're just using it for the IDE or to drag these replicas around. Um, but You'll have MaxScale already connecting to all these servers, maybe doing a read-write split, et cetera. And um, now you can connect the app directly here. And this, this is obviously, this is our Mongo DB connector that's in this app. Um, you may also have your uh, MariaDB app. Um, and that would also connect uh, to MaxScale. But using, and, and here, this one's using the MariaDB connector. This one's using MongoDB's connector. What MaxScale will do natively, it will take, um, you know, this, uh, the, the MongoDB uh, language, query language, uh, in the JavaScript, and it'll translate it to um, SQL. So maybe you have, a, a, like, a get. It'll become uh, a select when it comes over here. So something like that, right? And, and even cooler, let's say you have, maybe it was an old Oracle app, just to be, you know, this one will connect via the, the PL SQL. So this one is, is connecting on the Mongo uh, or the NoSQL router. This one is connecting with the, the MariaDB listener, as is this one. But this one is using uh, SQL mode equals Oracle. So now you have all three of these connecting to the same backend store, the same tables. In fact, you could write something in PL SQL uh, and read it with the MongoDB connector. You could write something with the MariaDB and read it with the MongoDB. You can also write something with the MongoDB connector and use some of its like find and all these functions and use them over here uh, as if they're relational data. But what does the table look like? Um, so the, the table actually, it's, it's really simple. So let's say you created a collection from MongoDB. Um, in our parlance, the collection just equals a table. Um, and what it'll do is um, create a table with two columns. It'll have an ID and it'll have a doc. And the doc is the JSON. The ID is generated out of that JSON uh, and allows you to have that unique ID. Um, but then you can use MariaDB's native uh, JSON functions to read and write to this table. Um, you can actually create more columns if you wanted to. Maybe you want to create some virtual columns or others that are tracked uh, via these two connections. Um, now you have a fully integrated architecture all from a simple um, MariaDB server with uh, fronted by MaxScale. Um, try it out. Uh, I think you'll, you'll find that it's actually really useful. Uh, and uh, will simplify your topology and your technology and enable your team to be more productive, save some money. Um, thank you. Like and subscribe is below. Check me out on the next video.